Welcome back to HodgePodge. If you have the Creative Cloud version of the Adobe Creative Suite, you're paying for the constant updates to these softwares as they are released, as well as all the unique add-ons that do not come with CS6. The latest update that came to InDesign has some unique features that are worth sharing. With enhancements brought to open type formatting a cross-platform font file format, we can now easily change our special characters and glyphs. Simply select the character you would like to change and a drop-down menu will appear. This menu will vary in length depending on the type of font that you are using. I can change my Y and my ampersand. In some cases you may apply alternate glyphs and special characters, such as small caps, fractions, superscript and subscript characters. The other unique feature that comes with this update is the search panel in the Glyph menu. Go to the top menu and select Window, Type and Tables, Glyph. In the past, we would have had to go looking for whatever glyph we would have liked to use. But now with a search bar, we may simply search for our desired character. But even greater than these new advancements, this update brought my attention to the Adobe Type Kit. If you're the kind of person who likes to use many different fonts, I'm sure you can relate to running out of space on your hard drive, overpaying for fonts, or even getting a virus when downloading fonts for free. There are many great aspects to using the Adobe Type Kit. First and foremost is the open type formatting, which ensures your font will work cross platform. The second is that these fonts are stored on the Adobe Cloud, so you don't have to worry about cluttering up your computer hard drive. Thirdly, you may filter in Adobe programs which fonts are specifically Typekit fonts, which is super great to have. I would imagine these Typekit fonts will be your preferred fonts, and so it will be super easy to locate those. The best thing about the Adobe Typekit is that all of the fonts are free, that is with your Creative Cloud subscription. So. I'm really starting to see more reason to switch to the Creative Cloud, and I really think Adobe has done a good job of creating those incentives to do so. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. Is the Creative Cloud worth it? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have the Creative Cloud, please let me know what your experience with the Typekit has been like. I will say that the font I tried to load took some time, and there's really no loading bar or signifier of any kind. So I was afraid that it did not work, but after a minute or so, it did pop up like magic. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.